In this video, we will look at the code G78 punching arc. Please subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon to get notifications every time a new video is released. As we continue our look at the patterns available to us, in this video we will be discussing G78 punching arc. We can define G78 as follows. On an arc of radius i, whose center is either the present position or a point designated by G72, an arc of angle k is punched with a pitch q using a punch of diameter p, starting at a point with an angle j in relation to the x-axis. The parameters for G78 are i, j, k, p, q, d. In the last video, we covered G68, and we explained the difference between punching and nibbling modes. If you have not yet seen that video, please click on the link. G78 executes the same punching sequence as G68, but in punching mode. Let's break this down. I is the radius of the arc. J is the starting angle. K is the moving angle. P is the tool diameter. Q is the pitch. D is the material thickness. We can see the parameters are exactly the same as G68 with the addition of D, which is used for specifying the material thickness. The G78 code will process all hits in punching mode, so we have no maximum limit when it comes to the parameter Q, the pitch. The RAM will wait until the material is in position before punching the next hit. We still have one limitation, the pitch Q, which must be greater than the material thickness. This is why we specify the material thickness with the parameter D. If we look at this example, we see that there is an arc at the top right corner of the sheet. The radius is 2 inches. We can determine that the starting angle is 0 degrees and the total punching angle is 90 degrees. The center point is at x20, y13, and the tool used is a 1.25 round in station T201. Let's go to punch sim and write a program. x20, y13, g78, i2, which is the arc radius, J0, which is the starting angle of the arc, K90, which is the total angle punched, P1.25, which is the diameter of the tool. Remember, the P can be positive, negative, or zero, depending on the offset we need. Q0.2, which is the pitch, or center to center of hits, D which is the material thickness. In this case, we will use 0 0.090 material thickness. T201, which is the station the tool is in. Let's simulate our program. As with the G68 code, having a large value for Q will result in less hits and a faster processing time but the finish quality will suffer, as there will be a bigger scallop height. On the other hand, the smaller the queue, the more hits, the longer the processing time, but the finish will be better. Note that if Q is less than D, the machine will give you an error. For machines with RAM control, like Vipros AE, EM, you should always be using G78 instead of G68. There are no real advantages in using G68 on those types of machines. The speed difference between the two G codes on machines with RAM control is negligible. That covers G78 punching arc. If you have any questions or comments, please post them below or email us directly at support at cncsoft.com. See you soon in the next video as we continue our punch programming course series.
please subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon to get notifications every time a new video is released.